Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel, another property tour with me coming along right away. This is another jewel of the Marbella real estate market that we have just signed an exclusive contract and placed it for sale at price at 13 and a half million euros just reduced by 1 million euros and i believe this is a great opportunity for someone it might be even a great investment but we'll get into that a little bit later on one of the best offers on the market in the high-end luxury segment of the marbella real estate and let's talk about the property it sits on a plot of 8800 square meters okay that's an insane size of a plot right here in Cascada de Camohan next to Marbella with amazing impressive sea views from the ground floor so rare to find the house is two and a half thousand square meters built as you can see it's a mansion a huge property that we will cover straight away and get into every single details through it there's a total of six bedroom suites which five are in the main house and the six bedrooms located in this building you can access from that door that you can see over there which is an amazing guest suite or staff of quarters if you want to. The entrance to the plot is on the north side. Once the car drives in through the main gate, it has a really nice driveway through the property, passing the entrance to the garage. Then we have a further carport for three, four cars for guests. And then the car arrives over here onto this platform, parks in front of your main entrance to the property. Then you have a further three car garage, huge three car garage, okay, with natural light. And basically, let's go inside and check it out. The moment we walk in, as you can see, there's lots of natural light and immediately we are greeted by this truly wow effect, one of a kind. We don't have a double height, we have a triple height ceiling with a skylight above us, lots of light coming in and the effect of this space is simply gigantic, enormous. You can see the passerella, the two staircase leading us upstairs with the glass where you can sort of see the entrance as well there's one bedroom suite to my right the rest four bedrooms are all upstairs this passerella takes us to a second lounge kitchen etc but the main living space is through here but before i get there i'd like to say how ample this hallway feels and how spacious it is i mean not many properties we've seen with this kind of caliber the house is though just above 10 years old Therefore, it's not a brand new property, as I explained, but it has a huge potential due to the distribution that was done back then, which was a, such a smart architect to do this because it completely corresponds to what today I see in the real estate tendencies. So from the hallway, we can immediately through this also wide corridor like you will see in the property too. Every corridor is so wide, the staircases are wide, everything is correct in terms and generous in terms of size. We get to the main living room area, which again has a wonderful size to it. I love this beamed vaulted ceiling, almost a double height, which gives that perspective of size, but still maintains a cozy feeling to it. We've got natural marble on the floor and wooden carpentry throughout the property. That passageway takes us over to the kitchen. We have lots of natural light through all these windows. There's further internal patios to give us even more light and sensation of integration of the outdoor and indoor living. On that side, we have a huge main covered terrace connected straight with the living room with further sitting and dining areas and the kitchenette. So you can see that this living room is kind of in the middle of the property with the main covered terrace to my right and the main kitchen and dining to my left. So let's get first to the outside. I'd like to show you the plot, the magnitude of this estate before we carry on to see the rest of the house. Another big sitting area next to the living room. We've got a covered porch with wooden beams, a grid and glass. So that allows all the natural light in there, but protects us from the rain. The plot is massive. I mean, one of the biggest plots we've toured and the beauty of it that it's so flat, so you can actually see the whole proportion of it, even though there are certain levels to it as well. Like for example, there's a huge chunk of land on that side, which you can almost cannot see from there and also on the other side. This property has three swimming pools, which again is impressive. We've got the main standard swimming pool right in front of our state. There's a second kind of chill out, fancy swimming pool on that side, just a little bit further away from the property and protected by these rocks for the noise purpose. And then of course we have a third indoor swimming pool inside the property in the basement levels. The plot has stunning, truly stunning sea views from the ground floor 
of the sea which again is so hard to find being so close to the city which is five minutes away in Cascada Camohan 24-hour gated community and as you can see there is a construction happening right next door which is another gated community five villas being built and the beauty of it is that the structures are built already completely which means that the views that you see now will remain the same forever and as I talked about the investment potential of this property I'd like to get into that just a little bit give you a couple of references though and see what your opinion about it will be if you've been studying the Marbella real estate market which is for instance the community of the villas that is being built in front rumor tells me that the asking prices are over 10 million euros for properties standing on a 2,000 square meter plot enjoying very nice sea views but uh, not as good as this property because this house is much more elevated those houses I don't know they're just over a thousand square meters built approximately so that's one reference I'll remind you here we have a plot of 8,800 square meters and if you want to value it on the minimum side such a land nowadays is worth minimum a thousand euros per square meter in this location and that's I mean this is worth actually way more. Easily you can say 10 million euros just for the land. Then the house, two and a half thousand square meters built. I mean, to build this thing, it would cost you at least probably closer to 2000 euros per square meter, even though it would be a much newer property. But as I believe that most of the house can remain, it still holds a huge value to it. Therefore, why I explained that it also can be a great investment for someone, if someone wants to do a project or just to make a good buy and keep the house for themselves, maybe updated. So that's a few points there. Another uniqueness of this plot is the fact how private it is. Okay, you can't see any neighbors whatsoever, not a single house. And those houses that are being built, they are much lower, which is important. And lastly, we're at the top of the Cascada de Camohan, just at the north side, the last house. So behind us is just a naturally preserved park and La Concha Mountain, nothing can be built on that side. So it is a beautiful estate, something that truly can be enjoyed. And I mean, you can do out here whatever you want. There's, there's, there could be a million ideas that you can do out here. Also beautiful landscape, very old, huge trees. All of that is impossible to get into a new house. And I'm not even talking about the speed of the building license if you want to do a reform compared to the speed of the building license if you want to do a brand new house, which is a big game changer. So walking back, you can see another preview of the massive living room. And now we'll go to where I said through this hallway where I've got double patios on both sides, giving lots of light, leading us to the kitchen with another hallway on this side that we will follow later on. But before we get to the kitchen, we have this dining. Again, a play with all the internal patios. So cool, I love it. Nice dining table, you can put a bigger one if you want. Very ample space, lots of windows, everything connected with the outside, with the kitchen to my left, the living to my right. One of the best views here, the master suite, I'll let you know already, is just above us, enjoying the best views. That's why it's placed over here. And if you carry on with me, we'll get to have a look at the kitchen. Great carpentry in terms of woodwork and doors, also the bathrooms and the bedrooms that you will see further along. The qualities and the maintenance is absolutely fantastic. For example, the kitchen, in my opinion, needs to be updated or changed completely. But you've got the space here, you've got double island, fridges are on that side. Great space to work over here. Further gas cooker as well, if you like that. And then also a small breakfast table in that corner, enjoying the sea views. But the beauty of this space is not only that, it's always the potential. That's what I'm most interested in this house, the potential. That's what I'm going to be repeating all the time. Because if you carry on over here, we have a second family room next to the kitchen, next to the hallway as well, which for some families is fantastic to have two family rooms, the main living room and then a second one. But then think about all the outside space that you have, all the entertainment space that we have down in the basement that I will show you in a second. Therefore, I think when I say potential, is the huge potential to tear this all apart, this corner, and just do a huge state-of-the-art kitchen, which would bring so much value to this property. Or you can just leave it as a second family room, no problem, poker room. I'm just here to give you some sort of ideas and indication of what can be done. But I mean, possibilities are infinite. 
great ample hallways once again i won't get tired of saying this because that's what is so important for me sometimes i do see houses which are very expensive but then the hallways are like an apartment that's not right we have a lift of course that goes to all floors which is nicely hidden through this wood wooden door and then from this side we get into the private office which is completely independent has its own entrance as well if you wish to pretty spacious no more no less than you need and the nice thing about it overlooks the entrance for guests and that's pretty much the ground floor almost covered as you can see we're sort of moving in a circle every time going through new spaces not going through the same hallways the guest toilet or cloakroom is just off to my right there's also the laundry and a separate stuff staircase into the basement apart from this main double staircase that goes above over here or into the basement through this two sides which leads you to the main area basically but looks pretty cool to have two instead of one the only bedroom from this ground floor is to my right right next to the entrance we spoke about it quickly at the beginning nice thing about it, it has its own lounge area at the beginning then the bedroom with views to the garden to the outside a great size bathroom as well it has a huge shower massive bath and lots of natural light let's carry on upstairs well, as I said, there are four bedroom suites on this floor, two of them starting off this massive corridor to the north side, looking out to the gardens. Both of them are very spacious with nice water ceiling, plenty of space, lots of wardrobe storage space as well, which is important. On this side, we have a view into the internal patio with the nice palm trees carrying on. The lift comes over to this side. Bedroom number three would be off this corridor in a nice, separate quiet corner and then through this passageway lots of windows beautiful views to every single side of it we get to the master suite which is through this door once we walk in let's take a look at the master bathroom first of all natural marble connects with natural wood into the bathroom with then again repeated with the natural marble across the water spaces but this time with an anti-slippery touch well, first of all, jumps out to my eyes immediately. We have this massive two and a half by two and a half meter at least pool. <laughs> then the big vanity with huge space on each side of this massive bathroom, nice vaulted ceiling, wooden beams, shower is huge, enormous. We have a separate water closet and again, lots of light and views into the pine trees. Carrying on we get into the master bedroom, which again starts with the closet space, which has a marvelous size to it, very spacious, and also a further second toilet apart from the bathroom, just in case. Bedroom itself, again, has the vaulted ceiling with the natural beams and the best views right off the bed towards the sea that the property has, which you can see right away with me. Beautiful, right? You can see the Marbella Center. And not only Marbella Center, we've got a beautiful view of the whole African coast right in front of us. Stunning. The sun is setting right now on the west side. Beautiful atmosphere. But let's check out all the gadgets in the basement now. Let's go. Well, the basement floor is almost like another house down here. And there's all the rooms are massive, great proportion, great sizes. There's loads of storage spaces lots of closet spaces we're not going to go into every single one of them but the main ones i'll show you absolutely first of all to my left we have the main garage which is accessed from the main entrance door as well which is huge plenty of space there you can check it out and then if we carry on to the other side we go into this intimate lounge bar entertainment area it's got its own cloakroom more storages to the side as well pretty cool we can have some fancy time over here with your friends chill out enjoy and spend some nice cool quality time right and then after doing so and after your great poker game we carry on through this hallway which of course has automatic lights that's another point that i would like to raise just in a second before that let's check out the cinema so completely soundproof you can tell immediately as i walk into here cool funky red color we've got the blue led lights above pretty spacious i mean just another addition to this property another extra cinema room to everything else that there is in here nothing missing pretty much the property takes every single box even if it was 
a completely new build, those would be the kind of spaces and things that you would install in your mansion. Carrying over here, we have the full equipped gymnasium. Again, nice size, all the machinery fits in here perfectly. We've got a further bathroom just for this gym. And then carrying through these glass doors, we get into the third swing pool, the indoor heated one. This is the whole general spa area with plenty of things around. Most importantly, first of all, natural light, windows for the airflow, which is magnificent. Indirect LED lights pretty much in every single room, which is very much appreciated, very nice. Over here, if we carry on, we have the cold water dip pool for when you come out of your Turkish bath or your sauna. We've got the massage room, huge showers. Another detail that when I said about the automated light is that actually this property has the full domotic system. We have the control here for the basic lighting on that wall. We have the iPad incrustated into the wall. And that's so important because if you have the domotic system in the house, even if it's old, it's pretty much simple to change it and update it to any other domotic system that you wish to. But if the house doesn't, it's really costly to do so. You have to change the whole cabling, every single light, everything complicated. Well, this was a hell of a house. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thank you for watching. And if you want to check out another stunning, unique masterpiece mansion, El Nido for 21.9 million euros, you can check it out right here.